Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Accounts Gurukul. Learn accounting online. You know, last to last video, we discuss about how it's going to be work as a deferred rent expenses. And in this video, we are going to do the practical. We are going to take the examples. And based on that, we are going to know that how it's going to work, what accounting entry you have to pass, how it's going to be uh, that whatever we have the path that's deferred rent in uh, or balance it to our celebrity side is going to be zero or every month, what type of accounting entry you have to pass for that and how and when you have to do the start the reversal of that. That's all we are going to discuss in this video. And uh, we're going to add this into the descriptions as well. So you can able to download this and do the practice at your aid. So request guys to watch the video till the aid like the video, share the video, and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance. So here, if you see what we have or consider as an example is that that's a lease commencement date. So this is going to start from the 1st Jan 2021. Rent commencement date. So rent is going to start from the 1st Feb 2021. It means that the first month is free. So in this lease, whatever we have the agreement, so we have just plotted here the what are all the terms for that particular lease. And based on that, we are going to do the calculations, how it's going to be work for the deferred rent. Now, the lease end date, so lease is for the 24 month. So 31st December 2022 is going to be end date of lease and the lease period from the 1st Jan 2021 to 31st December 2022, it's going to be 24 month. These are all the terms and conditions based on the our lease. And the first month is free. Rent per month of first year is rupees 50,000. And the second year rent will increase by 10%. So for initially first year, from Jan 21 to till December 2021, the rent is going to be 50,000 rupees per month. And uh, from December 20 or from the Jan 2022 to till December 2022, the rent is going to be increased by 10% in this 50,000. And the first month is free for the first year. Now, how it's going to be work? So what you have to do, you have to do the calculation of that to come up to know how much is the rent equalization and how much is the deferred rent as an average on every month you have to book in your PNL. So now for the first month, as, as per the terms and agreement, the rent is going to be uh, zero for the first month. There is no need to pay to the landlord, but we have to consider that deferred rent and we have to book the provisions and we have to create the provision into the books and how it's going to be and for how much amount we have to do. And from the Feb 2021, the rent is going to be starts. That's a 50,000 rupees per month. And the same is going to be till December 2021. And after December 2021, from the Jan, the rent is going to be increased by 10%. So what do we have to do now? So you have to add the 10% on this 50,000. That's a five percent, and it's it's ten percent, not the five percent. So the rent is going to be fifty five thousand from the Jan twenty twenty two, and you, our uh, lease agreement is till December twenty twenty two. Then the fifty five thousand. Then how much is the total rent is paid? Is around twelve lakh ten thousand. So this is the rent. What we have to pay in this lease period in the 24 month and in a first month it's going to be free now we have to know how much is the average rent for this and as per the rent equalizations how much is the average rent we have to consider for each and every month then how we're going to do that so average what you have to do from here to till here so it's going to be fifty thousand four hundred and 17 is a rent equalizations. And if you see the total of this as well, that's a 12 lakh 10,000. So every month, what we have to pass the entry and what 
for how much amount rent has to be booked into the system is for the 50,417. Knowing that in a first month it's a free, but still we have to book that rent in the books based on the this rent equalizations or deferred rent expenses. How much is the deferred rent as in <laughs> how much is the deferred rent for the first month is a 50,417 because we haven't paid anything because as per the lease agreement it's a free of uh, it's a free for the first month and in a second month the rent is 50,000 but as per the rent equalizations and as per the average what rent supposed to be debited to in the PNL it's a 50,417 so here 417 we have to park as a deferred rent expenses and we have to book into the liability sites as a deferred rent plus liability and for this how uh, you are going to do that and if you see in this entire working so from the first month the deferred rent how much is the balance into the deferred rent each and every month it's going to be increased to that amount till the time the rent equalization is not going to be match either it's equal or higher than what we have to be booked in PNL as an average so in the month of Jan 2022, the rent is 55,000, but as per the rent equalization, the average rent supposed to be paid or book is around 50,417. So here, this 4583 is excess book debited to PNL for this. We have to pass the reversal entry. And at the end, if you see these calculations, so deferred rent is going to be zero in the month of December 2022 and the deferred rent ending balance as well, it's going to be zero. So this is based on the deferred rent expenses as per the rent equalizations and uh, this is as per the accounting standards. We have to follow this now related to the working, how it's going to be work. So in the month of Chan, we know that there is the rent is not charged by landlord but we have to take the entry for that then what entry we have to pass into the system so what we are going to do we are going to create a different expense head for deferred rent expenses and that's going to be deferred rent expenses deferred rent expense account that's going to be around fifty thousand. 50,417 and the one more that is credit defer rent liability because we have to park this into the or balance it towards liability sides and that's around 50,417. This is the first month we have parked this entry into the books. Now, when we have to do the reversal of all these park uh, as a defer rent liability and when this defer rent expense is going to be zero and when the actual rent we have to book into the systems now in a next month when we are into the feb so for the feb we have received the invoice for 50000 but the average rent what we have to book is around 50417 so here 417 is a shortfall for which we have to pass the entry for defer rent and this 50000 what we have received from the landlord or based on the lease agreement we have to book these expenses into the pnl so we have to pass the entry for that is actual rent account debit is 50000 and whatever tds if it's applicable then you have to detect that tds on that assuming that it's a 10 percent on the 50000 so it's a 5000 and uh, the it's a landlord or we can see is vendor it's payable is around 50,000 minus 5,000 is a 45,000. This is going to be passed as per the actual agreement. This has to be paid to the landlord. But now the average rent we have to do as per the rent equalization, then you need to pass the one more entry for that. And that's going to be deferred rent expenses account debit. And that's for 417. And uh, the deferred rent liability account is credit for 417. And this entry we have to pass in the month of Feb 2021. Similarly, for every month, if you see here, till we reach to the average rent, 
we have to pass the entry for 417 for each and every month for deferent expenses towards the PNL and deferent liability towards the balance sheet. And this first for 50,000 as well, deferent expenses account debit to deferent liability account credit. So at the end of the Jan 2022, when we reach to our average rent, how much we have parked into the deferent, that's going to be around 55,000. So we have parked into the deferent for 55,000. And now from Jan 2022 onwards, we have to pass the different entry into the systems or reversal of deferent liability. The one for this is going to be same entry into the books. Giving example for the month of Jan. 22, the rent account debit instead of 50,000. Now rent is increased to 55,000. TDS is 5,500 and the vendor payout is 49,500. Now here, what you have to do, you have to start to do the reversal of this. So your deferred rent liability account debit for 4,583 to rent account credit is going to be 4583 so at the net how much is rent debited to the pnl in the month of jan 2022 if you see first we have debited 55000 and we have done the reversal of that is 4583 so as an average or as a net 50,417 is debited to the your PNL account, and which has to be, and which supposed to be as per this rent equalizations. So this is all related to the deferred rent expenses. How you have to book into the systems, how you have to do the calculations for that, and uh, how it's going to be do the reversal at the end of the your lease agreement is going to be end till that time. So your deferred rent at the end is going to be zero. And if you see here in the calculations, so defer rent is zero and the total of the defer rent as well, if you see the, is a zero. And how much is rent supposed to be booked into the, your entire this 24 month to the PNL? That's a 12 lakh 10,000. And here as well, that's the actual rent is debited is around 12 lakh 10,000. So this is all related to the defer rent expenses working based on the practical, and this is going to be more than this 24 month or instead of that four years, six years. And we have just considered the one example, you know, one year after this first 12 month is going to be increased through the 10%, but there might be the every year down the line of, if you have the four years agreement, then the rent is going to be increased on every year to that extent of 10% on the that particular rent amount, then your average, out is going to be increased to that extent. And based on that, how much is your rent equalization per month? That support that has to be debited to your PNL account and uh, rest all you have to park towards the deferred rent. And uh, as and when you reach at the end of lease, you have to ensure that whatever you have parked into the deferred liability that has been zero or there is nothing balanced park or there in your deferred rent liability account. So that's all from this video. And I hope through these explanations on through these practical examples, you guys are able to know that how it's going to work. And uh, as we mentioned, we are going to add this Excel into the descriptions. So if you guys uh, need this, you can download and you can do the practice at your aid. And if you still uh, have any query related to this, you can put it into the comment and we'll get back on that to you. Thanks guys for watching the video till the aid and uh, Request viewers to like the video, share the video, and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance. Thank you.